they're actually testing the chip that they have developed specifically to for for AI as a competitor to Nvidia. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm I'm curious if you have an initial reaction just based on headline, and if not, if not, I I'm happy to give mine. I so I don't know if this is directly related because when I was reading all the articles about it, and I found a bunch because I was trying to get. A, a, you know, as many different perspectives as I could. I don't know that yes. this is exactly, but I've sort of not, I'm not, I'm not surprised in this sense. Ever since we got the deep seek news back a few, a few months ago, yep. my operating sort of, my, my brain's been in the space of um, China's going to figure out a way to get this done uh, because when they need to and want to, they can put basically the economic and political weight of their entire system behind something. Um I heard a really great interview with uh, uh, who was it? Uh, Thomas Friedman, who had recently been to China, and he was talking about how the reason that they've done so well in in EVs is because the country just said to all of the tech companies, all of the phone manufacturers, "You're now an EV company." <laughs> so, <laughs> so like they all pivoted and started making. And EVs. they said, "Yes, sir." <laughs> right. So as soon as I heard the deep seek news, my one of my thoughts was, I. I would imagine that the, the the government is saying to as many companies as they can say it to, you're now making GPUs for AI. Um, so whether whether the you know uh, DeepSeek I think was probably uh, developed with spending more money than those headlines of seven million dollars or whatever it was would, would, would tell us. But um, the bottom line is, you know, I think it showed that with some good engineering and some ingenuity and and perhaps some technology sneaking through the back door, um, they're not just going to sit back and be like, well, we lost the AI race, you know, like, <laughs> no. so um, I think the hope for NVIDIA is that we're just not going to buy, and maybe a lot of the world isn't going to buy chips from China, maybe, right? So like for, for you know, whatever, most national security reasons or for sanctions reasons or whatever the reason might be. Right. So I think, I don't think this is like a death knell for, uh, for NVIDIA, but you know, if if your if your thesis for owning the company is you know triple digit growth forever, that's probably not not going to be the case either. So that was sort of my initial thought. Like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised Nvidia is down on the news. I also don't know that it means Nvidia is a bad investment from here. Right. Um, so that's yeah. well said. 